I can. Anne, please help us! Annabelle, where are you? Annabelle? What's wrong? What happened? Stay away! They need help! Samantha! Dominic! I, I heard them screaming! Annabelle, it was just a dream! Lily and Mike are fine. You're safe here. No! No! I have to help them! I have to find them! Annabelle, they're not here! You need to calm down! <laughs> Good morning, Annabelle. How are you feeling tonight? Morning. I... I don't know. Annabelle, I understand that last night was difficult for you. Can you tell me what happened during your camping trip with Samantha and Dominic? I... I can't... I can't say it. Annabelle, I'm here to help you. You can trust me. Talking about it may alleviate some of the pain. But if I say it, they might take me away to a place I don't want to go. Annabelle, I promise you won't be taken anywhere you don't want to go. I'm here to listen and support you, not to judge or send you away. Please, tell me what happened. <laughs> it was a nightmare. Samantha and Dominic, they for help and I couldn't do anything. It sounds like you've had a very distressing dream. Sometimes our minds create frightening scenarios. It doesn't mean it's real. No, it was real. I heard them. I felt their fear. But I couldn't see anything. It was dark and I was hopeless. Annabelle, nightmares can be terrifying but they're not a reflection of reality. It's common to feel helpless in dreams. It doesn't mean you failed anyone. You don't understand. It felt too real and if I tell you everything, you'll think I'm crazy. Annabelle, I won't judge you. I'm here to help you make sense of your feelings. We can work through this together. But what if it wasn't just a dream? What if something really happened to them and I didn't do anything? Annabelle, I hear your concerns and I want to reassure you. We will explore this further and if there is a need, we'll involve the authorities. But only if it's necessary for your well-being. Okay, but please don't send me away. I don't want to leave my mom. I won't take any actions without discussing them with you and your mother first. Your well-being is our top priority. I... I just need some time to open up more about it. Anne. Please, I really mean it this time. Ah, <sighs> sure. You can share your problems whenever you feel ready. Thanks, Doctor. You see, I will never be able to publicly admit what happened that night, and I wouldn't want them to send me away to a mental asylum or something, and I don't want to be monitored every day. This fact alone is why I'm writing this. For myself. I need advice. Something bad may be happening to me. Getting back together, we are never, ever, ever. Getting back together, you go talk to your friends, talk to my friends, talk to me. But we are never, ever, ever getting back together. Dom, I'm here! Cause the player's gonna play, 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 play. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Tom, your timing is impeccable. I needed that. You know, I'm always here to entertain, Belle. You're also here to keep me awake on this long drive. Well, I've got a whole arsenal of jokes ready for you. <laughs> Hit me with your best one.
Morning, Dom. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Why? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> I do my best. It's a love story, baby, just say yes. You belong with me. <laughs> That's the spirit, Dominic. <laughs> now come on, come on. You have to pick up the girls as well. Oh, yeah, they just texted me that they're outside waiting for us. Let's go. Hey, ladies. We're finally here. Are you ready for this epic winter camping adventure? Absolutely, Annabelle. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. It's good to take a break from work every once in a while. Let's make this trip count. You got it, Talia. Get in and let's hit the road. Here we go. Taylor Swift playlist engage. Cause the player's gonna play, 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 play. And the hater's gonna hate, 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 hate. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. <laughs> shake it off, shake it off. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> we made it, guys! Our winter cabin getaway is officially underway! I can't believe we're finally here! This place looks amazing! It's good to take a break from work and have some quality time together. And I'm here to make sure you all have a laugh or two. <laughs> this is going to be epic. I've heard great things about this cabin. What's it like, Anne? Well, let's go find out. Get ready to be amazed. Wow, this place is incredible. Look at those bunk beds. It's cozy and perfect for our winter adventure. So, who's bunking with me? Dominic, you're on your own! Alright, so who is in charge of getting the groceries? I hope you packed enough groceries, Anne. Don't worry, I got it all covered. We're going to eat like royalty! Can I be the cabin chef? Please, please, please? No way! Last time I allowed you to cook in my kitchen, you nearly let it on fire! <laughs> Ugh, come on! Oh, guys, check out the fireplace! We're going to be so cozy by the fire! Dang, I can already imagine us sipping on hot cocoa and telling stories! Let's make sure we don't run out of firewood. It's going to get cold. I volunteer for firewood duty. Perfect, Dominic! You're on firewood duty! This view is unreal! It's like a winter wonderland! It's so peaceful here. I needed this break. I'll bet there are hidden treasures buried in that snow. That's what this trip is all about. Relaxation, adventure. Anyways, guys, before we dive into board games of treasure hunting, there's something I have to tell you all. What is it, Anne? You look like you got a secret, Anne. Is it treasure map coordinates? <laughs> no, no treasure maps, Dom. It's about convincing my mom to let me come on this trip. Oh, I want to hear this. I can't imagine Anne having to convince anyone. <laughs> well, you know how my mom is. She's all about safety and staying close to home. And she agreed to this epic adventure. It took some serious convincing, but I promised her I'd be responsible and that you guys would all look out for me. That's sweet, Anne. We'll make sure you're safe and sound. I'm glad your mom eventually gave in. This trip will be unforgettable. Mom always wants what's best for us, even if it means letting us go on epic adventures. You're right, Dom. Moms are the best. Speaking of adventures... Anne, got any boys waiting for you back home? Uh, Samantha? No, not really. I just don't feel ready for all that. It's perfectly okay to focus on yourself and your adventures, Anne. <laughs> right, who needs boys when you got us, right? You guys are all the adventure I need. Hey, you've literally got a guy here. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, Dom. You're our bestie, too. We could never forget you. And, you know, I've always admired your sense of adventure. You make everything more exciting. Dominic, you're too kind. I'm just happy we're all here together. Oh, look at these two. Could there be a little something brewing here? Samantha, do you know something we don't? 
You know us, always the best of friends, right, Anne? Absolutely, Dom! Best friends forever! Alright, enough about Anne and Dominic's love lives. Natalia, spill the beans! How's your dating life going? Oh, come on, Samantha. You know I'm not the dating type. Work keeps me busy. Come on, Natalia. There's more to life than work. Natalia, you deserve some fun and relaxation, too. Well, if you must know, there's someone I've been chatting with online. Ooh, tell us more! He's into hiking and outdoor trips just like us! We're planning to meet up after this trip. That sounds like a great match for you, Natalia. I'm happy for you, Natalia. It's about time you took a break from work. Looks like love is in the air for all of us. So, Anne, got any other winter romance stories to share? Nope, just a winter adventure with you guys. Maybe this trip will change that. <laughs> Dominic, you never give up, do you? Whatever happens, let's make this trip one for the books. Agreed! To unforgettable memories and maybe to a little romance! Maybe we'll wake up in a winter wonderland tomorrow! Let's hope we don't get snowed in. We've got enough supplies to last for a while if that happens. Uh, did anyone else hear that? Hear what, Anne? Yeah, I heard it too. It sounded like footsteps in the snow. Maybe it's just an animal. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're probably right. It must be an animal. Hey, Anne! It's snowing really heavy now! Come back inside! You had us worried there for a moment, Anne. Sorry about that. I'm back safe and sound. Well, it's getting late. But we have a big day ahead. Not everyone. Agreed. We should get some rest. Time to hit the bunk beds. Good night, Anne. Good night, Dom. Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams. What was that noise? Maybe I shouldn't overthink about it. Uh huh? Where is everyone? What's that amazing smell? Good morning, sleepyhead! We decided to surprise you with breakfast outside! And you missed the sunrise, but we saved you some bacon. You guys are the best! Breakfast by the fire? Count me in! So what do you think, Anne? Should we camp outside tonight to fully immerse ourselves into nature? That sounds like an adventure! But it's going to be really cold. Are we prepared for camping in such low temperatures? You know, I think it could be an incredible experience. It's not every day we get to do something like this. That's the spirit, Anne. It'll be an unforgettable night under the stars. Alright, I'm in. But let's make sure we have all the gear we need. Safety first, but I'm up for the challenge. Imagine sleeping under a sky full of stars. And waking up to the crisp mountain air. We should gather enough firewood to keep us warm. I can't believe we're doing this. It's going to be epic. Now let's finish our meal so we can start packing stuff. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a plan. Inside the mountain, I see fire. And I see fire. <laughs> We may not have a guitar, but we've got some epic vocals. It's moments like these that make camping unforgettable. Oh, guys! Do you know what I heard people saying about this place? Huh? What? They say, on a night just like this one, you can still hear her ghostly laughter in the wind. But I don't think it's true because we're all having so much fun here. <laughs> Samantha, that's a bit too spooky for tonight. It's just a story, Dominic. Don't be such a scaredy cat. I got an idea. Let's play a game of truth or dare. Ooh, that could be interesting. I'm in. Let's do it. All right, but keep the dares reasonable, please. Okay, okay. Truth or dare, Anne? Truth. 
Have you ever had a secret crush on someone in our group? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I played the fifth on that one. Come on, Anne, spill the beans. It's just a game, Anne. You can share. All right, I may have had a little crush on someone, but that's all I'm saying. Oh! <laughs> that's so exciting. Dare! I dare you to run around the campfire three times singing your favorite song. Challenge accepted! <laughs> Say you were made to be mine. Nothing can keep us apart. Go, Samantha! You the one I was <laughs> You've got moves, mind. Samantha! You're a star! And it's up to me. No one can say what we get to be. <laughs> what if we. Uh, huh? What's that? <gasps> what in the world? <laughs> I know, right? That cat meme was actually hilarious. <laughs> hey guys, why is Samantha not here yet? I'm sure she got distracted by the amazing views of the trees and mountains. She'll be here soon. Hmm, it's a scary thought though, but what if she just got kidnapped? <gasps> <laughs> I don't think the kidnapper would be able to carry her to the car though. <laughs> Could never be serious. <gasps> g -g guys! G guys! Are you okay, Samantha? Why do you look so terrified? I I I I You're getting us worried now, Samantha. Just tell me what happened. I, I just saw a dead body near the woods! Come, let's go! Relax, guys. Maybe a wild animal attacked them or something. It can't always be about scary ghosts and... Huh? Samantha? Samantha! Samantha? Where did she go? Oh, no! This place is actually not right! Help! Help me, guys! Help me, someone! Wait, wait, I hear her voice! Let's go find her! you this is my fault i shouldn't have chosen this spot for camping uh, and don't blame yourself we all agreed to this adventure and we need to stay calm and find samantha <gasps> samantha please if you can hear us respond we're here for you samantha please come back keep your eyes open everyone we'll find her what if something happened to her we never should have come here! Anne, we can't think like that. We'll find her. I promise. Let's keep searching, but we should also think about what to do if we can't find her soon. <laughs> I can't bear the thought of losing a friend! Anne, we're all scared. But we can't let fear paralyze us. Samantha needs us right now. We'll keep searching and we'll get through this together. You're right. We need to stay strong for Samantha. Where could she have gone? Let's check near the creek. She mentioned wanting to explore it yesterday. Samantha! Are you here? I don't see any sign of her. I think we need to call the authorities too, just in case. You're right, but we don't have our phones on us. It's back in the cabin and we're literally in the middle of the forest. That's okay, I'll go grab mine, okay? No, wait! Huh? Let me come with you. It's not safe for you to go back alone. Don't worry about me, Dom. I'll be alright. Besides, Anne needs you more than I do. It's all good. I'll head back to the cabin and get our cell phones, yeah? I think she's right. Hmm, okay. But please take care of yourself. Of course. I'll be back, guys. 
Be careful, Matt! <sighs> hey, it's going to be alright. We're going to find Samantha soon, okay? I hope so. Finally, the cell phones. We need these to contact the authorities. You shouldn't have come here. Anne's mom? What are you doing here? Tell me! Annabelle! Samantha! Natalia! Where are you? They've been gone for too long, Dom! I'm so scared! Anne, we can't give up, Anne. We'll find them. We have to. I... I can't feel my fingers, Dom. It's so cold. Anne, we can't stay out here much longer. The storm is getting worse. I just want to find Samantha and Natalia and... and see my mom. I miss them too, Anne. But we need to think about our safety. We should head back to the cabin for now. But what if they're out here lost and cold like we are? We'll come back out once the storm clears up. We'll bring help. Right now, we need to get you warm. I should have never brought us here. This is all my fault. And this isn't your fault. We all agreed to come on this trip. <laughs> I just wanted to have a good time with my friends. We will. We just need to get through this storm first. Thank you, Dom. I don't know what I'd do without you. We're in this together, Anne. We'll find Samantha and Natalia, I promise. What if they're still out there, lost and freezing? Once the storm clears, we'll gather help and go back out to search for them. We won't give up. I wish they were here with us, safe and warm. We'll bring them back, Anne. We won't stop until we do. I hope they're okay out there. Let's go. Give me your hand. Oh my gosh! Sammy! Natalia! What happened here? Anne, we need to get out of here. The door's locked, Dom! It won't open! Okay, okay, stay calm. Let's find a way to turn on the lights. Who's there? Is that mom? Dom? Dom, where are you? Oh, no, 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 he's gone! They took him! Ugh, this pathetic door! Let me out! I lost all my friends like that. And this injury was due to the accident. I can't tell who's the one after all of this, but that shady figure looks so familiar to me. Someone maybe that I've known for years. Their presence felt like family to me. I guess I'll never be able to find out. And it'll stick to my head as a terrible nightmare. <laughs> Ma'am! Miss Rose! Huh? What happened, Sophia? What happened to mom? She's dead in her room. What? what? Dear Annabelle, I'm writing this letter to you to tell you how much I love you. You see? As I write these words, I hope you can someday find it in your heart to forgive me. There are secrets I can no longer bear, and I need to explain everything before I leave this world. Years ago, I became involved with a group I thought was harmless. They promised power and prosperity, but soon their true nature became clearer. They were involved in activities that were illegal and dangerous. I was trapped, and I made decisions that I deeply regret. You see, they believe that your friends especially Natalia, possessed information that could expose their dark dealings. 
They were willing to do whatever it took to protect themselves, even if it meant harming innocent people. Out of desperation and fear for your safety, I resorted to actions I can't justify. But now, I've realized that I only brought more pain and suffering to your life. My guilt was overwhelming, and I can no longer live with the knowledge of what I've done. That's why I've decided to leave this world, to spare you and everyone else from the darkness that surrounds me. I hope, Annabelle, that someday you can find a way in your heart to forgive me for my terrible actions. What you did was terrible, Mom. But you're my mom, and I still love you regardless. But I won't mourn over your death. Never.